Sunny Hostin with me now from New York, our CNN legal analyst. And let me, let, before, we, before we chat, let me, let me just pull up an email that seems to have everyone in the pundit world crowing. Maureen McDonnell says this, quote, Bob is screaming about the thousands I'm charging in credit card debt. We are broke. We have an unconscionable amount in credit card debt already, and this inaugural is killing us. So that, Sunny Hostin, is apparently where this whole thing started. Maureen McDonnell needed a dress for the inauguration. She reached out to a wealthy donor for help. And so from what you have seen of this indictment, is it unfair to suggest that this wife here was her husband's undoing? You know, I, I don't think that that is um, an unfair suggestion or an unfair inference. I've read this 43-page indictment. It really is chock full of all these kinds of details. But what is so interesting to me, Brooke, when I read it is that a lot of the gifts and a lot of the machinations that were made were made by the governor's wife and not necessarily by the governor. Now that's going to be very important because we know that she wasn't a government official, right? She wasn't the governor. She was merely First the lady. governor's wife. Mm -hmm. And so if, if the defense, and we know that they have two different defense attorneys, but if the defense in this is, well, yes, Mrs. McDonald did a lot of these things, but her husband didn't know anything about it. That, I think, is a pretty significant defense, and it's defense, quite frankly, that would resonate with the jury, because how many husbands on that jury aren't going to say, I don't know what my wife buys. I can tell you, Brooke, my husband doesn't, doesn't know everything know. that I buy. Let's so, keep it that way. I, you know, Sometimes this is, I know. This is not, yeah, this all, is not a slam dunk. Right, but, but all joking aside, let's say this. Let's say, you know, that, that more evidence agree against Maureen McDonald, the former first lady, you know, and then against the former governor. Um, as a prosecutor, would it not be tempting here, think about it, to cut a deal with Maureen and then try to nail the former governor since as a prosecutor that's where you make your name right yeah but that's not going to work in this case no. because they are a married couple and married couples can't Still? be compelled to testify ah, against okay. each other and their communications during the marriage are protected as well so i got to tell you you know my understanding is that he rejected a plea offer to sort of do exactly that, take responsibility for this scandal and, and, and no charges against his wife because they think they've got a pretty good chance of, of beating this. And in looking at it, even though this is in Virginia, a place where I actually have um, some ties and some connections with the, with the uh, or had some, mm -hmm. uh, it's a very good prosecutor's office, but this is not going to be mm -hmm. an easy case. Mm -hmm. Sunny Hostin, thank you yeah. very much.